In this video, we are solving problem 6.2.9 from the section 6.2 homework. Um, it's a pretty simple problem. They're asking us to find an indicated IQ score. And they're indicating that IQ score by the variable x. And they're saying they want us to find the IQ score. Um, the IQ score is such that all the other IQs, or 65% of all of the other IQs, are less than that IQ score. Um, so this time they're giving us the area or the probability that a score is less than this x value um, and then they're asking us for the x. Before we were often um, given the x and asked to find the associated prob probability or given a particular score and asked to find the probability. This time they're giving us a probability and asking for the score. And that probability is associated with this area under the curve. Um, and they gave us a couple of, of things in the problem statement. They told us, so all of this is the problem statement at the top. They told us that IQ scores are normally distributed and they have a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. And they gave us this picture. So we're trying to find an X value so that the probability I'm going to look at this picture and translate it. I want the probability um, that a score um, is less than x to be equal to 65%. Um, and x is an IQ score. Okay, now we've also got some known formulas. We know that if I have a particular score and I know that it comes from a normally distributed, a normal distribution with a mean of mu and a standard deviation of sigma, then I would just take that score, I'd subtract the mean, and then divide by sigma to get the z score. Now, that's if I have x and the mean and the standard deviation, then I want to find z. So this is the one that I use when I'm given x and I want to find z. Now this is just a rearrangement, a rearrangement of this one. It tells me how I can find an x given a particular z value. provided that we know we're dealing with um, data from a normal distribution with a particular standard deviation and a particular mean. Um, <clears throat> so they are telling us that the, probabil the probability that a score is less than x is 65%. So this represents area in our table, <clears throat> and we want the area to the left to be 65%. Now, since 65% is greater than 50%, we know it has to be greater than the mean. And this x value has to be greater than the mean, which is 100. Because the mean separates the lower 50% from the upper 50%. And what that tells me is if my x is above the mean, that tells me that the corresponding z-score, which is the number of standard deviations above the mean, has to be positive. So I'm going to look for um, an area of 65% or 0 0.65 um, in my table. And since this area to the left is 65%, um, I'm going to go to not the negative z-scores, but the positive z-scores, because I know I'm to the right of the mean. So I'm looking for 65% in the body of the table. Now don't go over here, that's a z-score and that's a z-score. These are the probabilities, these are the areas. So I'm looking for the one that's closest to 65. And I've got, that's pretty close. You see it? I've got 0 0.6480. That's 0 0.002 away um, from 65. Or 
that's 0 0.002, or this one is 0 0.0017 away from 65%. So I think that this is going to be the closest. Um, the z-score that goes with that is... Uh, 0.3 and so I went all the way over here I'm on this row so I it's the Z is 0.3 and then let's see which column was I in and I'm right here so that's 0.39 so the probability that a score is less than X uh, turns out to be Oops, I guess I should write it this way. The probability that a score is less than x is going to be equal to the probability that a score, or the corresponding z-score, is less than 0 0.39. So the z-score that goes with the 65% is 0 0.39. So now I have to find the x value that goes with this z-score. This is telling us that this um, particular IQ score that is that differentiates that lower 65%, it separates the lower 65% from that upper 35%, that IQ score is 0.39 standard deviations above the mean. So to find out what the actual IQ score is, I need to substitute this Z value into the formula over here. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And we've got this. So I'm going to go over to this known formula. My x value is the standard deviation times the z-score plus the mean. So the standard deviation for IQs is 15. The z-score is 0.39. And then I'm adding 100. And I need to get my calculator. It's in my purse. Just step away for just a moment. All right, Oops, sorry for that glare. So I've got 15, oops, you guys can't see it. There we go, 15 times 0.39 plus 100. So that's an IQ score of 105.85. Now, I do not remember what my lab statistics wants. If they want you to round up to 106 or not. Um, that's up to them. They're probably going to tell us in some little, um, like little note on the homework page how many decimal places they want us to round to. Um, so that's it. That's our score. And we're going to have to round it probably. Um, so let's go through what we just did. You were given an area and you were asked for the particular x value. So what we did was first we found the area in the table. So that area represents a probability and you're looking it up in the body of the table And since 65% is greater than 50%, you're looking it up in the body of the table of positive z-scores. So the area to the left is 65%. We look this up and then find the corresponding z-score. and our z-score happened to be 0.39 approximately. And then we use this formula, x equals the standard deviation times the z-score plus the mean to find the corresponding x value. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, please email me if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. Um, and that's it for this problem.